What up guys and welcome back to the channel, One Fit Bruja here. Didn't take me a whole month to get a video up, how about that? You fucking believe that? Cause I don't. It's only been two weeks, two weeks, check the last video, I'm not making this shit up. So, yes, two weeks son. I mean, every week would be ideal cause that's what it says in my description, but, you know, a bitch is busy and she works a full time job and then some. So it kind of is what it is. So today I'm gonna show you guys some protective magics that you probably have already heard of if you've been uh, on this journey for quite some time. And I'm gonna show you how to make my own personal version of black salt. If you're already done with all this black salt nonsense, then you can go ahead and click out of this if this is not your thing. Or if you're looking to amplify the stuff that you've already made, or if you would like to remake a batch and try it the way I do it, because mine's is going to be a little bit different from what you've seen other people doing. I have my own little things that I do to it to make it better in that sense. I mean, I'm not saying everyone else's black salt sucks compared to mine, but I'm just saying that there's things that I do differently because I feel it'll work better for me, for my energy, for what I'm trying to accomplish with it. That said, I'm gonna try and not ramble on for fucking ever, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start. So if you're interested, stick around to see how my black salt is and hopefully you will like this and you'll try it out sometime too. All right, let's get into it guys. So I have a white candle going because I am working with my goddess for this. You're going to need some salt, an empty jar, a pen, some crystals to enhance the energies that you are working with, piece of paper, cauldron scrapings, dragon's blood ash, a black candle that's engraved for protection and banishing, a charcoal disc, and some black peppercorns. So first off, you're going to want to smudge your area, your items, and yourself. And of course I had to show the jar filling up with smoke because I think it's so relaxing to see that happen it's just one of those things one of those things guys and i'm going to go ahead and finish off smudging myself and i'm going to go ahead and light my candle that is engraved for protection and banishing negative energy so i'm going to go ahead and grab my mortar and pestle yes that would have been a vital thing to mention earlier in the video but you can make shift another way to grind these things up into a fine powder form. Just get crafty. So I'm going to go ahead and add my black peppercorns first and I'm going to be taking the banishing property from them. And of course, every time I use an ingredient, I like to take time and charge them individually. So that's what I'm doing here. Next up, I'm going to add that charcoal disc. I'm gonna break it up into a few different sections here and then place it into my mortar and pestle. And I'm gonna be taking the banishing property from the charcoal as well. And I'm going to grind that up into a fine powder. So it'll look a little something like that after you're done crushing it down and I'm going to go ahead and enchant. Now I'm going to add my cast iron scrapings, which I chose to use from my cauldron. I chose to do this because it has my own personal essence into it. I have a direct connection with my cauldron so it'll amplify all the energies that I've already added in there. And I'm going to take the protection property straight from the cast iron itself. And you can use anything else that is cast iron. I feel like if you have a better connection with the object that you're using, then it's gonna work that much better. So that part is completely up to you. Now I'm going to take the dragon's blood ash and add it into my bottle. And I'm going to add some extra energies into it. I'm going to be using the protective property from it 
as you guys know, if you've watched my older videos, I ramble about Dragon's Blood all the fucking time and about how versatile it is and how the energy is really protective and you can use it for literally anything. So that is what I am doing here. Now I am going to take that piece of paper and I, what you saw me do is write down the incantation that I'm going to be using for this working. And I am going to fold it away from myself three times because you guys know I like to work in threes. And as I do this, I'm going to say, I banish all negative energies away from me. I banish all negative people away from me. I banish anyone and anything who wants to hurt me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and light that and make sure it catches on fire pretty good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let that burn up inside my cauldron. While my incantation burns down, I'm going to repeat those three things over and over again until the flame is completely out. I'm gonna place my intention and my energy and my mind's eye completely into this. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my salt and place my intent and energies into that. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my mortar and I'm gonna be taking the protection property from my salt and putting that into my working. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add my ash from my burnt up incantation and I'm gonna go ahead and mix that thoroughly. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and add my dragon's blood ash and I'm going to combine this as well as I can. Now is the time that I'm going to say my incantation. I banish unwanted energies away from mine, repel and protect me from negative forces that try to hurt me at all given time. Here I am transferring my black salt into the jar that I wish to use. I know a lot of other witches will use a chunkier salt, but I chose to use a finer salt because I feel like it lasts a lot longer than chunkier salt. And this is what it will look like when you are done. I chose to use three crystals for this. I chose to use a black obsidian, black tourmaline, and a tiger's eye to help charge this up. And I'm gonna let this candle burn all the way down and then your salt should be ready to go. Holy crap, it's already dark. So that took me a while to do. I'm gonna let this candle burn down. Per usual, that's how most of my workings go for the most part. And I'm gonna place some more energy into it while this candle is lit and still burning. And after that is finally over with, I'm gonna transfer a little bit of the black salt into this bottle here and I'm probably going to bring it to work and put it in the corners, the four corners of my department's room. My coworker's gonna see me do some crazy shit tomorrow. Sorry, yo, but you already know I'm crazy if you are watching this. So it's not gonna hurt you. By all means, it'll probably get rid of some of our pest problems, people, and bug wise. So you're gonna thank me later. I'm gonna do that. And hopefully that'll get rid of some of the negative energy and negative juju that's been going on at my workplace. And you can also put this into your hot foot powder. I remember leaving a comment later today and I was saying to put this into hot foot powder because it'll work that much better if you can conjoin the two it'll be that much stronger and you can also use hot foot powder and a mixture of black salt to help protect you in your home it's not gonna backfire on you and make you want to get out or anything it's literally a barrier that you can put around your house or literally right in front of your doorway and right in the back of your back door if you have that if you're living in a house, if you're living in an apartment, I guess you could kind of put it right underneath where your slider door is and keep up on doing that and it'll help protect your home. 
from intruders and negative energies, negative people, people you do not want around in general. Give that a try if you're trying to find something along those lines to try and keep intruders out and people that you do not want in your life any longer. I did place some stones. I placed some obsidian, black tourmaline, and some tiger's eye to enhance my personal power. As this burns down, it'll help juice it up. I did not pick a particular time to do this. You can do it during a full moon, of course, anything you can really do during a full moon to help amplify the power. Banishing, I like to think of more or less a new moon phase would be better for that sort of magic because you're trying to get rid of something or someone or maybe something to do with yourself. So it goes along with that, or you can use any day you want because you're a witch and you're gonna make that shit work. That's what I did. Most people don't know that you can use black salt in hex work and curse work because you are trying to banish somebody away from you. So keep that in mind if you do not have very many ingredients. Some rosemary and black salt, a candle of any color of your choice, you can literally get somebody gone like that. It's all about what's in here, and in here is what's going to help you out. With all those rambles said, if I did not answer everybody's question, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. And I hope you guys like this video, and you guys like this working, and I hope you guys try out the black salt sometime and let me know how it goes. And until next time, I will see all you lovely little brujitas later.